studying aircraft maintenance, a full-time student and a full-time boxer. Well, Adamian is in the ring, and here comes Panchito. Tale of the tape for Bahado and Adamyan. And Raul, the question here, Bahado, a little trouble making that 140 pounds. Yes, Bob, again, the weight problem with Bahado, one pound overweight yesterday. I'll tell you, he should really consider staying at 140 instead of killing himself to get down to 135. He's a growing kid, he's, he's stronger, he's healthier, he's got, and he's full of energy at 140. For the introductions, here's our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Pachanga Resort and Casino of Temecula, California, Main Events is proud to present the Budweiser Boxing Series on NBC, brought to you today in association with Ringside Ticket Incorporated and sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be Max DeLuca, Chuck Hassett, and Jack Reese, and when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Raul Caiz. And now, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing. This is in the junior welterweight division. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trimmed with red, and officially weighing in at 139 and one half pounds. He has a perfect professional record consisting of nine bouts. Nine victories, including three knockouts. He's a native of Armenia now, living and fighting out of Glendale, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated William Adamia. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with red and green, and weighing in officially at 141 pounds. This 2000 Mexican Olympic team member now has a professional record consisting of 11 victories, including 10 knockouts, with only one defeat. From Guadalajara, Mexico, the babyface assassin, Francisco Panchito Bojado. Bojado is from Mexico, though he went to Garfield High School in East Los Angeles, the same high school as Oscar de la Hoya. Final instructions from the referee. Let's take a look at the rules. California rules for this eight-round showdown. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Fighter can be saved with the bell in the final round only. Accidental foul will go to the scorecards at the start of the fourth round. So Bahado and Adamian set for this eight-rounder. Some butterflies for the two young men. Two young prospects. We'll see how Adamian can handle the heat from Bahado. Well, what do you expect, though? Well, I expect Bahado to be very aggressive. You know, he wants to prove to the people. And as you can see there, he's jumping right on top of him. If he wants to be... Oh, Bahado, bad cut, right cut. eye. Clash your heads. Clash your heads. That... Bad cut, right eye of Bahado from an accidental clash of heads that's in a bad spot on the right eyebrow. And let's see how that affects the cut. With Bojado, a lot of young fighters, they see blood, they don't know how to control themselves, they lose their patience, their game plan. You're going to have to jump on him and try to finish him early now. Now, if this fight is stopped before the bell sounds to begin the fourth round, because it was an accidental clash of heads, it would be a no decision. And that is cut is in a bad spot for Bajado. Joe Chavez is his cut man. 
Machado pawing at that blood with his right hand. Good left hook to the body by Machado. Raul, talk about it. You've been cut many times in your career. What happens, especially earlier in your career, what it's like when you get a cut in a bad spot? Well, it's very hard for a fighter, you know, when the blood is coming in your eyes, you cannot, you cannot see. You're thinking about, oh my God, I'm cut. What's going to happen next? It's just very hard for a fighter to continue his game plan when you get cut, especially the way Panchito Bajado got cut. That blood keeps dripping away on his eye. We'll see how the 19-year-old Bajado keeps his composure. So far, he's having a pretty good first round, though. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's doing what he what he has to do. He's uh, the aggressive fighter. He has to cut the ring off more. Being the Abdeyan is the taller fighter. He's going to try to use his height and reach advantage. Again, the clash of heads. Watch your head. Both you Let's go. Just relax. Watch your heads. Old Kaiz, the referee, saying, watch your heads. An accidental clash of heads early in the fight. A severe cut on the right eyebrow of Francisco Bajado. Bajado trying to load up with those power shots. Good right hand by Bajado. And he's still got to be careful, boss, because if he's a little bit over-aggressive, he might run into that left uppercut Ten seconds, stop at the bell, of Abdemayan. Left hook to the body by Bajado. He's landed the harder punches here in round one. But the story, the cut on the right eyebrow of Francisco Panchita Bajado. His cut man is Joe Chavez. He has to go to work and fast. Ishmael style. That's all you got to do when he's yours. Four times in a row he did it. Water, water. Come on, baby. Look at it. Right there is where the clash of heads occurred. Yes, and that usually happens when uh, a taller fighter like Adam Young and Panchito being the shorter fighter, they bang heads. Bottle and some good power shots in the round. So Bajado dealing with some adversity here, accidental clash of heads. And you know, he showed some pretty decent composure. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, even though, you know, it was a lot of blood going in his face, he's, he's fine like a professional. He's, he's, do, he's still following his game plan. But he's got to be a little bit more aggressive here. He cannot just sit there and wait and look at Adam Young. Now, we mentioned Joe Chavez is maybe the most important person here because he's handling the cut of Bajado. Jesse Lasada has moved into the corner of Bajado with Joe Chavez. Jesse? Thank you, Bob. Uh, Joe, uh, how does it look? Bad. This is bad. This is deep. You think you'll be able to go all the way or what? Yeah. It was all way. There's a lot of bleeding, though. Yeah. How are you going to stop that? I'll stop it. Just give me a, a couple of rounds. I'll stop it. Back to you, Bob. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Well, I think one of the things, the cut might be just to the edge of the right eyebrow enough where the blood is going down the side of the face more than into the eye. Yeah, Bob, but it's still very difficult for him. As you can see, he's still touching his eye. It's bothering him. There's still blood. When the other guy hits him, he's got blood in his eye, and it covers his vision. Cut him off! Cut him off! Adam Yon, not a big puncher. Three knockouts and nine pullbacks. Says he wants to use his height and his jab to sort of keep Bajado under right, control. Stop, stop. Nice and relaxed, both of you. Adam Yon, the taller of the two. Blood just pouring down the right side of the face of Bajado. And Bajado keeps weighing too much. He needs to be more aggressive. Cut the ring. He's not turning the ring the right way. He's just following the fighter. They explain how he should cut the ring. He needs to move to his right, to his left. You can see the other fighter move to his right. Well, then move to his right too. So he can cut the ring, come back with a, with a body shot. 
or I'll tell you what, the overhand right would land at will if he started using it more. Armin Young trying to work that jab. He was 0 for 46 with the jab in the first round, according to CompuBox after controls. Shaul Avila and the former champ, Gennaro Chicanito Hernandez. Bajado's face a mess. That from an accidental clash of heads in round one. Adamian fighting a very cautious fight. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's a little bit intimidated. He's fighting Panchito Bajado, up-and-coming star. But up until now, being that he hasn't fought the level of competition that Bajado has, he's doing pretty well. He's doing what he has to do. He's using his reach to his advantage. He's high, giving him angles, throwing combinations. This wasn't a bad round for him. Bajado dealing with adversity. He and William Adamian coming to the end of round number two. You're watching Budweiser Boxing on NBC. Francisco Bajado trying to land some power shots in round number two. Again, Joe Chavez working on that cut. Mouth pieces in, seconds out, let's go. Second to Joe. I think Bahato at 19 years of age, Floyd Mayweather, senior, his trainer, needs to keep him composed, Raul, and not flood him with too much stuff. And he's doing that, uh, Bob. Uh, Mayweather being a great defensive trainer, trains Oscar De La Hoya. But Bahato needs to be more aggressive. He needs to throw more body shots, break him down with body shots instead of just trying to land one, one big punch. Adam Young went straight back, ate a left hand from Bajado. Nice combination by Panchito. And that's Adam Young's weakness, going back, he can't fight going back. If he stands up straight, oh, good left on. hand by Bajado. As you saw right now, when he stands up straight back, Bajado connects with the better punches. And Adamian goes straight back, and Bajado just tees off with straight right hands. Well, tomorrow, Francisco Bajado turns 20 years of age, and he'd like a win to go along with the cut and stitches he's going to need for that right eye. It surprised him in the first round. I think he didn't expect to get cut that way. Maybe it was the cause of him being a little bit overexcited that he they hit they headbutted each other. Adamian trying to work his jab a little bit, but he's just working his jab out there, Raul. Which is good enough just to keep Bahada at distance. That's what he has to do. Don't let him in. Don't let him come in. But doesn't, he need, doesn't he need to back it up with a right hand at some point? Oh, he's setting that up. He's, he's catching with the jab. He's finding his distance like he is right there. And Adam Young is a little bit awkward. He's kind of like an awkward fighter. When you follow a tall guy like him, he's 5'10". He's lanky. It's a little bit awkward for uh, Bajado. Nice left hook to the body by Bajado. moved to the United States at the age of two, went to the gym at the age of eight, fell in love with the sport of boxing. His cousin took him to a gym outside of Los Angeles. Bajado trying to let those hands go. Combinations, that's the key. It's going to take a while to break this tough kid. I mean, Adam Young is undefeated. He's not coming in to lose, but he's got to break him down. Well, the pace of the fight has slowed a little bit. Bajado looking to land the big shots. Adam Jan keeping it on the outside. We've hit the end of three rounds. You're watching Budweiser Boxing on NBC. Francisco Bajado with his right hand as William Adam Jan went straight back. That happened in round number three. Yes, we need to see more of that, Bob. I mean, Francisco Bajado has tremendous God-given skills. And is, he needs to throw his explosive uh, fast combination. And look at the punch numbers. Adamian much busier so far in the fight. And Adamian is averaging 50 jabs thrown per round. So he's trying to keep yes. Bajado to the outside. He's got the right game plan. 
but Bahada is just too strong for him. The fans trying to get behind Bahada. Here in Temecula, California. Adam Young is really surprising me. I thought this was going to be a much easier fight for Bahada. He's putting on a good fight, being that he's the underdog in this fight. Bull has it two rounds to one for Bahado. The first and third rounds in Bahado's favor. Adamian came to the United States at the age of 14, about seven years ago from Armenia. His trainer is Ron Williams, full-time police officer in Glendale, California. Adamian, a product of the Police Athletic League. Good right hand to the body from Bahado. Got to come back with combinations wrench in this. That's what he's got to do. Good left hand by Bahado as Adamian was heading backward. I think it looked worse than it was, Raul. Yeah, he was a little bit out of balance, Bob. Caught, caught him off guard. Would you like to see Bahado a bit busier? Yes, I mean, he throws one punch and then he likes to admire his work. You don't do that. You throw one punch and come back, come right back with two or three combinations. Already through two minutes of this round, Adamian has thrown 42 jabs, so he's staying consistent with that jab. And if it wasn't for the Adamian's jab, I think for Hollywood would have stopped him already, but that jab, that little flicking jab he's throwing, moving one, to one side, moving to the other side, he keeps Bahado off balance and he can't set his feet right and throw his power punches, land him with his power shot. Coming in with a one-two. Right, and Adamian does a good job of holding Bahada while against the ropes. Bahada trying to step in with his power shot. Adamian circling away from danger. Real chess match through four rounds of this bout between the puncher, Francisco Bahado, and William Adamian of Glendale, California. Bahado cut in round number one. Accidental clash of heads. Team Bahado very concerned. Joe Chavez continues to work on that cut. Floyd Mayweather Sr. with the instructions. A lot of concern you gotta keep back, back into the body, okay? in that Bahado camp, his younger brother, you Angel, eight years of age, walked with him to the ring. Fight. Let's listen to Floyd Mayweather Sr. Doing what you doing. Well, let's take a look at Adamian trying to keep it to the outside. That time Bahado got a right in and a left as Adamian was going backward. Yep, but he needs more than combo. Bob. This is coming with a good left hook right there. Might have caught Adamian's attention. And in round number four, it was the first round in the fight that Bahado landed more jabs than Adamian. Adamian was one for 59. Although you do have to like the work rate of Adamian with the jab, throwing 59 of them. Bahado definitely needs to keep his hands up. Putting his hands down too much, getting careless. Even though Adam Young doesn't have the power to hurt him, he can still keep his hands up. I have enough power just to open up that cut a little bit more. Don't push the hand down when it stops. Too cautious. Too cautious. being too cautious, thinking too much. There you go. To take advantage, he had him in the inside right now. Take advantage of that. Single punching again. Now, Adamian is from 
Armenia in the amateur game, you fought a lot of guys from yes. Europe. I mean, they do they, present an awkward style. Yes, they do. They have an awkward style, and we're seeing a little bit of this today here. Sloppy body shot. Yeah. Adam Young confusing a little bit. Nice and clean, gentlemen. Nice and clean. For Bojalo, his style is, you know, plus being tall, lanky, long arms. Actually, you can relate to both guys because you fought European guys. And you've been cut a few times in your career, role. Yeah, I was bad, uh, especially in the last fight with uh, Sugar Shane Mosley. Me being the taller fighter, Mosley being the shorter fighter. Punch, hands are free! Me being Step right, left-handed, him being right. It happens. You know, the crowd ooing and eyeing there, but, you know, Adamia does a nice job on the inside of smothering and blocking some of those Bahado punches. Yes, yes, he's fighting very smart, very intelligent. Even though he's not in the class of Bahado. You gotta give this kid free, credit. He's doing everything to, I guess, survive in this fight. He knows he's not gonna win, but he's pick up, pick going up, the rounds with Bahada. He doesn't think he can't win, though. You think he thinks he can't win? Well, it looks like it. I mean, he's not really trying enough. He's not. He's, he's giving him angles, moving, but he's not throwing enough combinations. He's missing a lot of punches. I'm sure he came in there with the idea of him winning, but. Up until now, I don't see him winning. And he, he should take advantage when Bahada just sits there and looks at him. Throw fast combinations. And he's not he's not attacking that cut at all. Joe Chavez will have to go to work on it. The blood continues to pour out of Bahado's right eye. But Bahado not really throwing any punches at that cut. As you mentioned, he try to worsen the condition. Well, today's boxing on NBC from... Uh, uppercut all day. Set him up. Fake him and throw it up. Fake and throw it, with him. What do you think about the uppercut as a choice of punches? I just said that earlier. If, if he comes in, you know, Bahaga's coming in a little bit over-aggressive. That's all Adamia's mean, got to do. Step back, throw that right uppercut, and he'll catch him every day. Roll is only given Adamian one round. That was round two. I gave Adamian round five, so I'm a little closer than you. Well, I thought he was missing a lot of punches in that round. That's why I gave it to Bahada, who's being more aggressive. Landing single shots. They were power shots, not the combinations, but he, I think he did enough to win that round. Very patient pace right now from Bahado. Maybe he's being a bit cautious because of that cut. He doesn't want to just dive in there. That came from an accidental clash of heads in round one. Hands are free, hands are free. He's following Adam Young. You see, Bob, he's just following him. He's not trying to cut the ring off. You can't just follow a fighter like that. You got to cut the ring off. Now, I know Adam Young needs to be cautious. But now we're in round number six. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. He's fighting a prospect, Panchito Bajado, on national TV. You just kind of wonder when Adamian is going to take that chance, open up, take that chance, and make a statement. It's time. It's time for him to make that statement. It's time for him to let his punches fly. He keeps, like I got to say, he's more like in the survival mode. He moves to one side, moves to the other side, throws one, two, three. He lands good if he doesn't. Whatever. He's, he's not trying to take advantage of that cut that Bohada's got. He's not doing anything. And the other thing that Adam Young hasn't done is Bahado shoots a right hand. Knowing that Bahado was a little overweight from the contract weight, two pounds. I stop. Nice and he hasn't thrown any body shots to try to soften up Bahado and maybe test his conditioning a little bit. Well, he doesn't want to fight a, uh, a fight. He doesn't want to make the fight on the inside with Bahado because that's when Bahado is going to get his best. Like we're seeing here in that corner, he's, he's staying too much in the corner. I don't know. And Bahado is taking advantage of it. And he rips a couple of hooks to the body. Red marks on the body, the rib cage of Adam Jan for those right hands of Bahado. Yeah, I don't think he'd like them body shots. Bahado should throw, come back with no body shots. There you go. There's an uppercut from Adam Jan. trying to get in range a little bit more here in the sixth. Right hand by Bahado. Final seconds of the sixth round. Big round for Bahado. 
Takes the shot. Knocks down Adamian. You can only be saved by the bell in the final round. Adamian's got to make the count. He is not. Francisco Bajado overcomes this severe cut in the right eye. And he puts his punches together near the end of round six. Adamian could not make the count. And Bajado gets win number 12 and his 11th stoppage. Very impressive knockout. I mean, landed at uppercut. And Adam Young was hurt. Gets a kiss from his younger brother, Angel. Let's watch how the round ends. Bahato just ripping body shots. The uppercut sends down Adam Young. And because we were not in the last round, Adam Young had to get up on the count. He could not, and the referee... Rolo Kai stopped it wisely. Yes, it started off to be a bad round for Adam Young. You saw Bojado hurt him with the body shots. Probably broke him down a little bit more in that round. Got him in the ropes and landed that big uppercut, which uh, finished the fight. Well, you mentioned it. Adam Young, in the late stages of round number six, was taking some severe punishment to the body. Seemed to slow him down. Yes. It lessened his jab. And Adam Yan took some punishment late. Basically, in that round, he was, if you saw, he was staying too much in the ropes. When you stay in the ropes, that's Bahado's fight right there. Close fight. And that's when he landed that big punch. Adam Yan never really took his chance, fought a cautious fight. Took Bahado a while, but he finally got in the range that he needed. And he finishes off Adam Yan, who cannot answer the count at the end of round number six. So an impressive performance by Bahado from the respect that he had to deal with adversity. Yes. That cut very early in the fight, dealing with blood streaming down the right side of his face. And he passed the test, wouldn't you say, Roel? I would think so. Good learning experience for Bahado being cut. A lot of young fighters don't know how to handle that. And he finished him off with a devastating punch. The uppercut yep. sends down Adamian and... He could not make the count at the end of round number six. Panchito is the winner for the official time. Here's Ladies Michael Buffer. gentlemen, referee Raul Caiz, following the knockdown, immediately waves off the 10 count and calls a halt to the bout. The official time, three minutes of round number six. The winner by knockout victory, the babyface assassin, Francisco Panchito. Happy birthday, Francisco. An outstanding performance as he finishes off William Adamian at the end of round number six. Undefeated prospect Juan Diaz to come in our main event. Bajado gets win number 12 and his 11th stoppage. You're watching Budweiser Boxing on NBC.